Yeah, I mean, it, this is a question that we uh, face a lot, which is if you focus on literacy and numeracy as we are, uh, does that not crowd out other parts of the curriculum? And uh, like, uh, you know, arts and, and so forth. So the, uh, the short take on this is one, don't define literacy and numeracy narrowly that our definition includes the higher order skills of reasoning and problem solving and thinking. So uh, uh, whereas other tests can be too narrow and we avoid that. So that's one. Secondly, on the narrow part, make sure it connects across the curriculum. So lots of connection between music and math, for example. And uh, third, and I guess I'll say uh, equally important, if you get literacy and numeracy right in the way that, not the narrow way, but the deep and wide way, it actually is the key to success in a lot of the other curriculum areas. Uh, we found that if you try to do everything equally, then it's a problem, that nothing gets done very well, so that's why we carved out these. And the other point now that um, if you take the 21st century skills that are taught, those uh, seven or eight skills that people talk about, those are skills that are entirely compatible with the evolution of literacy and numeracy. So uh, I, I don't think this is a problem, but I think it's something to worry about because it can be done narrowly, but we're not doing it narrowly. So that's what I, my take on it. Is there, are there any resources that they might like to see, uh, look up or anything like that to uh, the, like a deeper meaning on this? Yeah, I'm not sure about the deeper. The, uh, um, on my website, there is uh, our, our basic uh, policy, which is 16 pages long. It's called Energizing Ontario's Education. Those three words, Energizing Ontario's Education. So if you go to the website, Look under that, download it as a PDF. That will give you the, st the, the statement I just made, more or less. All right, yeah. cool. Sounds okay. good. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome.